Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the spawn of Gilnathus farm. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so basically what I've been doing for this week, obviously casual gold farming is a thing and basically much like the Garn Nighthow farm, I was actually farming up the servant this the spawn of Gilnathus. Now this one is located within the Taolong steppes in this island right here called Shenzhen Dao. And basically, all you have to do is fly around the outside of this actual area looking for a rare spawn called Gilnathus. Now basically what you'll be wanting to do is just flying around the entire area and seeing if he's up. Basically, you'll see little spawns of Gormanathus, but that's not the ones you'll be farming. Now, this is at a 100% drop chance, and I've actually managed to get 12 of these in total. Now, other than that, this is basically much like the Garden Nighthow farm, where I've basically just logged in whenever I had the time to see if the rare mob is up, and then killing him. Basically, what I'll be doing is basically just farming up a battle pet just by logging any time I had the actual chance. Now judging by this the current going rate for the Ganathus spawn is around about 947 gold on the Mimbaya on my realm. Now Ganathus looks like this. It is a basically an X, X beast boss and all you have to do is just basically tag him and kill him. It's a massive giant eel which is under the ground and I did wait quite a while in order for him to spawn again. But basically all you have to do is just log on, see if you get it and pretty much spawn of Ganathus is in my bags. Now I'm going to want to learn it, go into my pet journal and then cage the battle pet. I'll move that lockbox over there and now we have 13 and it was basically that easy. We've just done the farm. We've just logged on, we've just found him, killed him and now we've got to wait for him to respawn. We don't want to be doing this on an hourly basis much like the Garden Nighthow farm and that is mainly due to the fact of the respawn rate varies quite a bit. So what you'll be wanting to do is log on whenever you have the time. I usually do this in like an intermittent hourly thing. So like, like an hour later, if I'm bored, I'll just log on, see if he's up. And then if he's up, I'll kill him. If not, I'll log back out. Um, other than that, the spawn of Gilnathus is current going weight is 9, 000, is 947 gold on the min buyout, a market value of 1,021 gold, and a region market value average of 2,044 gold. What I'm going to be wanting to do now is basically we're going to actually calculate how long we've actually done this for. And basically we're going to take 947 gold times that by our 13, and we've got 12,000 311 gold worth of the spawn of Ganethus. Basically we won't ever have to do this farm for a very long time because the battle pet does take a little bit longer to sell than usual but what we wanted to do is only post two at a time on the auction house as there's seven on the auction house already we don't want to flood the market and reduce the price where it's non-existent and it's not worth farming anymore. So 12,000 gold per hour just by logging on and casually camping this thing. So we're not taking it too serious, camping it, we're just logging on whenever we have the time and just grabbing it. It's really that dead simple. So I found this farm to be quite enjoyable. All you have to do is fly around the entire area. I mainly found Ganathus round about this area here. So if we pull it up on the map, so basically the back end of the actual island, I found him the most here on my things. So this is maybe the area where you want to log in and log out just to see on the off chance that he's there because I found that parking myself here as opposed to the front side of the island I was able to find him the majority of the time at the back end of the island so hence why I plan on doing it that going forward. So that being the case Spawn of Gernathus we've definitely got quite a lot of this actual battle pet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it all the way over to Giblet and see if we can actually sell this battle pet quite well reasonably and pretty much always we're going to only post it once at a time on the auction house we actually got a little bit of t-mog we're going to send over as well and then once that's done we can then do that and all that jazz 
Now bear in mind this farm doesn't actually take you all that long. So 12,000 gold and obviously we have 13 of those battle pets. It literally took me two minutes to do. So 13 times by two, that's 26 minutes in a week to actually farm this for 12,000 gold. That's pretty damn good for casual gold farming in general and just camping a mob in general for a necessary battle pet. Obviously it will take a little bit longer in order to sell, but I still think that casual gold making or casual camping of a specific rare spawn or something along those lines is still very highly profitable, especially if you're on a higher pop server as well. If you're on a lower pop server, just don't flood your market when you when you are doing a casual gold farm because if it's not like the Garn Night Hell where it's a mount and it sells fast, you, you're not really going to drive the price down all that much. But when it comes to a battle pet of this type of 100% drop chance battle pet, it's something that you may want to bear in mind where you were like, actually, I probably don't want to completely just post all 13 at once. You may want to just put two up at any one given time. This is to reduce the chances of it actually plummeting in price and making sure that you actually get the maximum amount of gold for your time that you invested, even though it was a little bit of time, you want to maximize your profits when you are doing that. So that's something you may want to bear in mind right there. Other than that, guys, that's basically the farm. All you have to do, tower long steps, go to the lovely island of Shan Zedao and pretty much just farm this up. I found that this one was really helpful and I generally enjoyed it quite a bit. So that's something you may want to bear in mind right there. Other than that guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for the day. Have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.